Hi, so let's make uh, the last uh, part of uh, this movie is on the first exercise. So we, in the last, the last movie, we went, we end up here. And they have one thing to correct. This beam is defined as this cross section, and that is not correct. It should be another. So I'm going to right now correct that it should be this one over here line bars pick this ones and apply now my results are outdated sorry about that now my results are outdated as you may see here on this yellow mark so I'm going to run the calculations and now we will have the results available. I'm going to close this, go back to the PDF. I'll have to select all the reinforced concrete beams of this window. This one over here. Select the beams for the design and I'll go to design, provide a reinforcement for reinforced concrete elements. Now, the program is actually running a module that allows for concrete beam design data on the beam together with the static analysis results will be loaded on this module okay that's what's happening right now sorry about that okay let me select okay simple case is okay there we have the program has already identified the beam let me just make this go here. There we have our beam. Analysis calculation options. We'll have the concrete. We'll, we will use this concrete and we will unselect the diameters from 6 to 18 millimeters. Okay. And also, we will need to sorry and also we will need to change the left and right hook to a value of 90 so let's go analysis calculation options concrete okay and select this 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 and this and okay and go to analysis reinforcement pattern patterns let's Let's wait until okay let's go to shapes longitudinal bars main and change this to 90 and over here to 90 okay now we'll have to calculate as you may see here there is nothing here but if we run the calculations we will have a green mark over here showing that this beam is designed now we can check the results of that design beam diagrams okay just the diagrams for the design the reinforcing the reinforcement of the beam make this go here here we have a cross section of the beam and here we have the diagrams we may also see this in a cool 3d fashion the top reinforcing the top main reinforcing and the bottom main reinforcement uh, okay now we may also see the calculation notes and this will open a dialog box where one can select the components of the calculation node and start the reset program editor for presentation of the results for the beam. Okay, you may add this to a document, maybe, as you may see here. Now let's uh, design the concrete column. Go back to start. We have to select the column that will undergo design, which is bar number one. Okay. Now go to design, provide a reinforcement of reference concrete design. Okay. Once again, the program 
brought the data from this column to this module. Let's select OK. Here it is, column number one. With the column, pick the little house here. There we go. Uh, now we will have also to select this concrete and unselect this diameter 6 to 12. Very nice. Okay, let's do it. Results, analysis, calculation options, concrete. Okay. Select and select this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I wouldn't choose this three last. I don't think they're necessary. So okay. Run the calculations once again once again the green mark. And now you may check the results, the interaction curves in the axial and the bending moment forces over here. Here you may see a neutral axis, the compressive and tensile zones together with appropriate safety factors for the select combination. So let's see that. Sorry about this. Here we go. We have here the neutral axis, which is over here. We'll have the compressive zone in yellow and we will have the tensile zone in black over here together as they say with the safety factors for the load cases that we have picked. So let's see. Here we go, the intersection, okay. We may see these uh, graphical elements over in column reinforcement. Let's bring this down here. Here we go, a cross section and all of the column over here also in a 3D way fashion with the stirrups and uh, the longitudinal main reinforcement. Now we may also design a multiple, uh, make a design of multiple reinforced concrete members. Let's go back to start. Do not select anything. Analysis method is okay. Analysis, design, calculations. Members 1 to 14. List of cases 1 to 5. And run the calculations. Close. Close. And now we may. Uh, we could also pick 11 points. Let's make that. Let's make that. Okay. Calculate. Close. Close. Design, provided reinforcement, reinforcement concrete buildings and columns, okay. So I'm going to try to explain what we asked. We made a calculation of the theoretical required area of the reinforcement for the selected members of the structure and the adopt calculation parameters are stat. Okay. We asked the program to tell us which is the theoretical reinforcement. Theoretical is the one that we calculate by statics. This is also the required reinforcement. The provided reinforcement are the real reinforcement is the one that we are going to adopt to our solution when we bring the structure up. 
So you may check here the theoretical values that the program gives you. You may like them or not. You may add to this, but never go, never use still reinforcement lower than the theoretical reinforcement. Never. So, next video we will analyze this still frame and make the design of it. I hope you enjoyed the movie and thank you very much.